Hello everyone, today I show you how can we flash a video card with an other BIOS with the Etiflash utility. In the first step we need a USB stick also known as pen drive, a CD-ROM and of course an optical drive and a USB port. If we have these then we are ready for the next step. In the second step we need the following softwares. The latest version of Etiflash. In this case this is the 4.17 version. Tech power of GPU-Z, HP USB Format 2, Win98 boot, Nero burning RAM and of course the BIOS file itself which is usually a .rom extension file but it could be with any other extension. In the third step we run the GPU-Z and next to the BIOS version we will see a little icon. Just click to it and click to the save to file option. Then rename the file if we wish and save it to a safe place before we start into the flashing itself. In the fourth step we extract the win98boot.zip to a folder named win98boot. In the fifth step, we install and run the HP USB format tool, where for the device we select our pen drive, the file system has to be fed, and the volume level is the name of the device. In our case, this is the name of our pen drive. In the format options, we need to check the create a DOS startup disk option. Then we search for the DOS files. In our case, these files in our Win98 boot folder, what we made in the fourth step. In the sixth step, we copy all files from our Win98 boot folder to our pen drive without overwriting the DOS files. In the seventh step, we install and run the Nero Burning RAM software, where we select the CD-ROM boot burn option, and in the boot section, we need to select the image file option. Then, in the advanced section, we need to check the enable expert settings option, where the emulation is floppy emulation 1.44 megabyte. Now we click to the burn section on the top of the window and we check just the write and the super link options only. For the write method we select the disk at once option, it's usually the default one. Now we click to the new button. We need the Etiflash 4.17.exe and the BIOS file for burning. I recommend to rename the Etiflash 4.17.exe to Etiflash.exe before we are burning it, because it will make the ninth step easier. And of course, don't forget to burn it. In the eighth step, we restart the system. Then, in our BIOS, we select the optical drive for primary boot. Or, if we can open a boot selection menu, like what you see right now, then select the optical drive for booting there. If the informations are listed, then we need to search for the drive with the etiflash.exe and the BIOS file. For example, type E column backslash and press enter. Then type dear and press enter again. And a little bit upper we will see what kind of files the E drive contains. And we can repeat this with any other available drives. In the ninth step, if we found the drive with the etiflash.exe and the BIOS file, then just type this, etiflash space dash p space dash f space zero space file name dot rom, where the file name in my case is 270x0400 and before the file name the zero is my only video card, but if you have more than one video card then you can type 1, 2 and 3 to have 2. Press enter and wait until the flashing is complete. In the 10th step we restart our system. I hope this video helps you. Thank you for watching and goodbye! In the 3rd step we run the GPU-Z and next to the...
What? In the fourth step, we extract the Win98 boot our pen drive. The system, the file system, the file system has to be fed. In the format options, we need to check the create a DOS disk. DOS disk DOS disk DOS. In the seventh step, we install and run the. But why? Now we click to the burn section on the top of the window, and we just check, 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 check. Select the optical drive for primary boot. Primary. Why not primary? Inf inf deep. Inf the infinity. Infinity. Yeah. In the ninth step, if we found the drive with the attiflash.exe and the BIOS file, then just type this: attiflash space 